IT Talent College presents Martin Laumann, co-founder of the Key Foundation on Privacy. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So there's this ideal which we would like to accomplish. An ideal of being in control of your own data and having a digital version of yourself. How can we accomplish that? Um, first of all, let me tell you, we started this movement uh, around seven years ago, and we were, when you have a new idea, you, you have a startup, a commercial organization, and you start thinking and trying. Uh, we had the luck that we uh, were able to sell our former company to Dutch KPN, and this gives us the, gave us the time and the money to really start a company. And in three years, we were working on this independent infrastructure, and we wanted to create this node in the new infrastructure, and, well, we ran out of money. The KPN money was gone. And we had to find another 12 mil million euros to, make, to bring alive this idea we had. And it was 2008, the crisis just begun, and instead of the crisis, there were two um, informal investors, and they said, OK, you can start, stop, stop looking for the money. We are ready to invest these two 12 million. And then they said, OK, uh, we believe in this. And um, well, of course, we want to have the majority of the shares. And uh, we would like to think about an exit in five years. And the obvious names passed by, like Facebook and Google and Microsoft. And we were very close to signing, ignorant as we were. Uh, and then we thought, OK, maybe this is not a good idea, because we're, <laughs> we're dreaming of giving control over data to people. And how can it be that if you think this node in the infrastructure is yours and yours only, how can it be that, just like that, this node becomes part of a Google system? So we had to say no to the money. And that makes us uh, poorer, wiser for all. Uh, and and we, we tried to, come to, to, to think of ways how we could raise the money to, to make this happen. And in the end, um, the, the 12 million, we did find them by um, obligations, ob profit sharing obligations. Up to now, there's no profit, but the obligations, uh, well, we have the money, and that's good. And they, these people are very patient in the organizations that support us, so they, we're very happy with that. And that's for half of the 12 million, and the other half uh, we received from innovation credits from the, um, from the Ministry of Economic Affairs. So we're here. Um, we've come a long way. The, the, the small company, the startup, changed into an independent foundation with an independent board and rules that belong to that because this note should be yours. How we do it is um, that we started to think about the, the way you could organize this. And we looked at, for instance, the model of Visa card. And I do not know whether you know it, but this is a four-role model where this person, Bob, can go with a credit card to his shop online or in the real world, and he might buy something. And he doesn't bother who's, who's delivering the services to the shop. The fact that there's this sign on the, uh, on the window of the shop is enough to use his Visa card and buy something there. Whether it's, this is in Singapore or in Portugal or in Greece or in the Netherlands, it just works. And no one is thinking about how this is possible. And the same goes, of course, for a model like GSM. The same ID. Have you ever thought how crazy, in fact, it is that you, can, you, you know the 10 numbers that belong to a person, and you only have to know these numbers, and you can call someone? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't, you don't have to know whether this person is uh, serviced by Photophone or by Dutch KPN or by Orange or whatever, you just call. And it always works. Well, most of the time. And this is not about grabbing your data. That's a whole other issue. But 
it's very simple and you only need a phone and 10 numbers and you can call. So this model makes it very scalable. It makes it possible that all kinds of organizations that, that stick to the rules of the network can fill in a role. And if you have a look at the other side of this same picture, then you will see that the, the, the model we're using is in fact a copy of that kind of thinking. Because here, there, on the left side, there's a user with this keynote, the dream, and he's being issued by uh, an issuer, and that's an organization that has signed to obey the rules of the key foundation about where the control of personal data is, and that's on your disposal. And of course, there's an ID provider, because there, this is, has to do about digital identity. This is about trust. You need to be able to trust the other party in the model. And in this model, this is, for instance, an organization that has data about you, a data provider, and is willing to connect to the same infrastructure so you can use the data. And of course, there are relying parties that need your data. The only difference with the world we know today is that you decide you can always draw back the exchange of data. And of course, this is not about only technical stuff, there is also legal stuff. And that's why th that's where the key foundation comes in. Everyone, every organization can operate the network, but only if you have a license. Because you have to stick to the rules. And that's another learning we had in the uh, last seven years, is that if you have a look at the way Apple is feeding the market, and Microsoft, and WhatsApp, and Facebook, and every social medium, they're all platforms. And the problem with a platform is that it's all, it has always the principle in it of the winner takes all. And the interesting thing is, because they serve as two sides of the market, the consumer, the user, in the case of Facebook, you th uh, you're the user, but you're also the product of Facebook. And the other side, for Facebook, they are the customers on the other side, relying party data providers. The problem with a platform is that platforms, as the winner takes all, are always changing their own rules, it's like Richard said. They cannot be trusted. Platforms, they come, but they will go. Who remembers Hives in the Netherlands? Who remembers MySpace? They go. Facebook will go. And in fact, despite the enormous number of users of Facebook, it's only a small platform. The things that are here to stay, the developments that are here to stay, are all four kernel models. Think of the World Wide Web in itself. Think of email. You can email another person, but you don't need to know whether this person is using Outlook or Gmail or whatever. You just can use email. So this makes it scalable, it makes it independent, and you can make it open. And this is the next step. The governance model of this idea of giving everyone a note in an infrastructure is built on a trias politica model. And what you see there on the, on the right hand corner down there is in fact the same four role model in the other pictures, only reversed, where an individual is serviced by an issuer and relying parties and other providers are allowed to connect to the infrastructure as long as they obey the rules uh, and these, they are forced by service providers. What you see here, this is the, uh, the part where we have um, the exploitation uh, or executive part. We have here a branch that's about legislation, and we have on the left side, we have the judiciary branch. And what happens here is, is the key foundation fills in the role of scheme authority, which is a neutral organization where everyone can join 
and can help in working groups to work on the different parts of the standard. For every country, a regional authority is foreseen. We're too young to have that already, but it will come because there are always um, there's culture and there are laws in every country, they will be different. So you need local organizations. There's a whole model where people and organizations are invited to think with the foundation. So this is about the legislation. There are licenses where issuers and service providers can act upon in the executive part. And there's an independent judiciary branch. And this is the control mechanism. Because as this is not only about the technical stuff, it's also about organization and roles in this model, they need to be able to check. On the left side, you see that, um, for instance, the supervisory board, which are independent people, they ask the authority on that side to control the key, the key foundation in itself. And every year there's a control mechanism. So this makes it open and scalable. This, is, this has nothing to do with any government. This is really independent. All right. Next step, if you have a look at this full role model, and you will see that, um, in fact, uh, we use a routing layer, because what happens here in the model is that if you have the node in the infrastructure, and you connect to a source of your data, and it doesn't mean you don't have any copy of data, it's just this is the linked web principle. You connect to your data, for instance, at the local government. And you have the right to use the data that's about you with the guarantee, the mark, that this is really coming from there and you didn't change it on the way. And the next step is that you can hand it over or have others subscribe to your data. Another thing is that, for instance, if you um, are looking for a second-hand bicycle, then you might send out anonymously your question in this network coming from your node. I'm looking for a second-hand bicycle, and it should be somewhere in the region Utrecht, and it, I won't, don't, won't, don't want to pay uh, more than 100 euros. So this is an anonymous question in the network, and someone who, and it could be a shop, but it could be an individual as well, might answer this anonymous question. I have this bicycle for sale. So what happens here is, what we do is we send out questions in a network. We are routing. That's what the infrastructure is all about. We route from node to node without having to know who's owning a node or who's behind that, because this is all based on pseudo IDs. So we have a routing layer. We have this layer with the nodes. And we have a layer where applications can connect to the node, but they work on your site only. They belong to you. So this is not some kind of service running I don't know where. These three layers, you could compare them, um, in fact, to the OC model. And what we did is, um, and, and we have there, we have the actors on top. It's a bit difficult to read, but there are some individuals like Alice and Bob, and the shop, and the bank, and the government. And this is the user layer. And if I move to the next slide, you will see that this same model of key can be compared to the OC model, where we have the seven layers down there. We use the same media. Oh, this is wrong. But we use the same network layers down there, um, and we we have the transport layer as well, which we call the key network. And on top of that, we have the three layers on the other slide. And that means that we are building, in fact, a new layer on the internet, a layer with other rules and regulations, a layer where you are in the central. Thank you.